Hello ladies and gentlemen, and today we're going to look at multiplying matrices. Your learning objectives for today, I can multiply two matrices. Not too bad, right? What are you going to do? Basically, you're going to multiply rows times columns. Now, you can only multiply if the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. You're probably like, what does that mean? Well, here's two matrices, right? So I know the first matrix is a two by three. There is two rows by three columns, right? This one is three rows by two columns. Now, what has to happen? Your inside numbers need to match. So my columns must match my rows. The other two numbers on the outside, that's going to be the dimensions of your answer. So if I multiply these two together, I would get a 2 by 2 matrix. Kind of silly, but bear with me, okay? Let's try a few problems. All right, so let's try the first problem here. So I have a 2 by 2 matrix, it looks like. And I have a 2 by 3 matrix, right? So now, let's figure this out. I notice that the two insides are matching. That's good. We need them to match. And we then look out here. So it looks like I'm going to get a 2 by 3 matrix from my resulting answer. So here's my matrix. Now, how are you going to multiply this? This is how you're going to do it. I recommend having multiple colors. So we're going to multiply 2 and negative 1 by 3 and 5. So what's going to happen? So you're going to multiply the 2 by the 3, so that would be 2 times 3, and you're going to add the other 2, so negative 1 times 5. Okay, so that's your very first element. Continue, so i got to take the first row times the second column now. So that's going to be 2 times negative 9. And add negative 1 times 7. All right. Second row, second column is done. Now I need first row times third column. So 2 times 2 is 4. Oops. Write that out. And then plus negative 1 times negative 6. All right. I have finished the first row of my matrix. Now, we now need to go to the second row. So we now need to do the exact same thing again. So we got to go second row times first column. So that is going to give me 3 times 3 plus 4 times 5. Second column with second row. So 3 times negative 9 plus 4 times 7. Now I gotta go third column. So that is three times two plus four times negative six. Now let's actually do our math. So two times three. So let's do our math. So two times three is six minus five. Right, this would be 6 minus 5. So I know that that is going to result in a matrix. That element's going to be 1. So 2 times negative 9 is negative 18 plus a negative 7. So I'm going to get a negative 25 there. 2 times 2, we said that was 4, plus 6. So I should get a 10 there. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 5 is 20, so I'll get a 29 there. And negative 27 plus 28, I will get a 4. And then 3 times 2 is 6 minus 24, that's a negative 18. So this is my final answer. That's the resulting matrix that comes out of this. Now, what happens? Notice. I flipped my matrices around. Let's figure this out. So this is a 2 by 3, right? And the other one's a 2 by 2. 
Notice though, those aren't the same. So they're not matching. That means I can't multiply these together. So my answer would be undefined. Notice, this isn't commutative. Matrix multiplication is not commutative. If I have a matrix named A and a matrix named B, multiply those, not necessarily will B times A be equal. It might not even work, just like this didn't work. So make sure you always are careful of who you're multiplying by who, okay? Especially if we start naming matrices. Let's try number three. So I have a two by two matrix. So I know my answer, my middles meet, are the same. So I'm gonna get an answer of a two by two. So, whoops, let's make our matrix here. So multiply the rows by the columns. So zero times four is zero and negative one times negative two is two, so I'm gonna add on two. This row by that column, so zero times negative three is zero, and negative one times five is negative five. Swap colors here so we can see it. One zero and four negative two, so one times four is four, zero times negative two is zero, one times negative three is negative three, and zero times five is zero. So my final answer for this matrix, if I can change my pen color here, should be zero plus two is two, zero negative five, negative five, four, and negative three. Final answer. And that's the end of this video. See you later, Sabres.